I'm extra excited for today's video because we are opening another mystery thrift box. I just love these so much and they pull me in every time. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you might know that I've had a little bit of hit and miss with mystery thrift boxes in the past. I've definitely done a couple of videos on them, but I have never tried one from this particular vintage shop, which is called Berries. And I have actually covered them in a plus size vintage video that I did on my channel, probably like last summer. And they're amazing. They're based out of Brooklyn. They do plus size vintage. They do a lot of collaborations with artists and designers and they've also recently started doing mystery thrift boxes so I believe it was my friend Lydia Hudgens that sent me something months ago it was like hey Barry's is doing mystery thrift boxes this sounds right up your alley and I was like it is. So I went onto their website, I purchased two of them. And by the way, I paid for all of this with my own money. They have no idea I'm making this. So I ordered two different bundles and each bundle has three pieces. So there should be six pieces in this box. So these are called the Berries Mystery Box and you can choose your size. They carry from sizes small to 4X and then you can also choose your style. So they offer four different styles, which I think are so cute. They're called Blueberry, Strawberry, Raspberry, and Cranberry. The Blueberry Box says it's moody, grungy, 90s, and with darker colors. The strawberry box is colorful, playful, and classic berry style. The raspberry is sleek, contemporary, modest, timeless, and minimal patterns. And then cranberry is summery, bright colors, fun patterns. Think a trip to Florida. You can also choose how many pieces in each box. You can either choose three, five, or eight. I think these are pretty reasonably priced. A three-piece box is $50, a five-piece box is $100, and an eight-piece box is $150. And when you think about like vintage, actual vintage, curated vintage, this is a pretty good deal, especially especially when you break it down by item. First of all, I love how much thought and planning and intention went into this. It's very branded, it's very fun. It's like a whole little experience when you're putting together what it is you want, even though you have no idea what you're gonna get out of it, at least you have sort of like a loose outline. In addition to listing your sizes, they do ask that you also list your measurements to just ensure like a seamless fit. They ask that you include a short description of things that you love as well as things that you hate, just to give a little bit more direction and guidance when they're assembling the mystery box. So there's just like a lot of thought that goes into this and I thought it was really cool. They're an awesome small business and I would highly recommend checking them out. I love the pieces that I got from them previously. I'll link them down below and I, I just can't wait any longer. We have to find out what the hell is in this box because I have no patience. I have no idea how this is gonna be packaged, what it's gonna be, but we're gonna find out together. This is actually the most fun I've had in a while. I don't know what that says about my life, but here we go. Okay, here we go. One Berry's Mystery Box in Strawberry and one Berry's Mystery Box in Blueberry, both three pieces. And then they have actually all of my information on this piece of paper. So like my measurements, things that I love, things that I hate. Let's do it. I don't really know which one is which. Okay, whoa, 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 there's a lot. There's a lot happening, hold on. Okay, I think this one on top is the blueberry because this looks like darker colors. Wait, I'm like already taking a peek at things. I don't even remember what I put down. Should I read what I wrote first just to see how accurate it is? Okay, so for me, I wrote, the things that I love are the color brown, long sleeves, mini skirts, halter anything, leather, matching sets, crop tops, zip up tops and cardigans, as well as scarf tops and then for the things that I don't like or that don't look great on me are crew neck thick strap tanks or dresses that's not my style button downs anything cowl neck if you've watched that one video where I had to blur out my boobs for an entire video, you know. And then last but not least, mid or low rise. We can't do that. And then I put my measurements. So, okay, I think this one on the top is the blueberry box, like I said, because it's like a little bit more 90s grungy style. Oh. Oh my God. These? Wait a second, wait a second. What material is this? Hold on, I'm like processing as I'm, okay, they're genuine leather. So this is straight up vintage. The brand is called Covington. It looks like they're high rise, I hope. I really, really hope. But it is like a suede leather pant. I have nothing like this in my wardrobe. It's also missing the butt pockets, which feels very nostalgic for me as someone who grew up in the 90s and early 2000s. That's very exciting. These are stunning. I really, really hope these fit. These look absolutely insane. It has pockets. There's a lining on the inside of it, so you're not gonna sweat too badly, hopefully. I do live in the desert, so I'm gonna have to wait until I take a trip out of town to wear these, unless it's just like a really cold winter day. Oh my god, fun. Okay, wow. This is so exciting. We'll see how these fit, and let me know in the comments below if you want to see me style some of these pieces in like a future video. I want this video to just kind of be like an unboxing and haul, but if you want to see me style some of these pieces, definitely let me know 
know I would love to create another video where I like style some recently thrifted pieces into full outfits I love doing stuff like that but these are 10 out of 10. Okay next up I'm just gonna reach down I'm not looking we have looks like a sweater oh <gasps> oh my god <laughs> this is so cute oh my gosh wait I think this is like custom like I think this is like handmade wow okay Sorry, I'm not very good at reacting on camera because I'm just in my own little world, but this freaking turtleneck that has, it's like a banana bikini. This is so cute. And the tag on here says berries. So I literally think this was like handmade. And with my new hair, I'm dead. This is so unique. I mean, I obviously have nothing like this in my closet and how freaking fun. I mean, even with these pants, a moment. I don't know if that was intentional, like if it's meant to be an entire outfit, but how fun is this? It looks like the perfect size. I love that this material isn't like super duper soft and fuzzy, kind of like this sweater that I'm wearing right now that I'm literally sweating in. This feels like a lot more lightweight and like breathable. I'm in love. So this is kind of like a reworked vintage top. So they just took a turtleneck, added their art to it, and now I have a banana bikini turtleneck sweater. Like what more could you want in life? This is so cool. Okay, last one from this bundle is going to be, oh, it feels very light. Oh, what, what is this? Is this a scarf? 100% silk, Nicole Miller. This is a scarf and it has little shopping bags on it. Wait, this is so cute. So I think this is meant to be like a whole outfit or is this a scarf top? Oh, I think it's a scarf top. I lied, I lied, I lied. Oh my gosh, wait, I'm so excited because every time I see scarf, the reason I put that is because number one, it's really rare to find vintage cute goodies in plus sizes, but especially scarf tops, like they're never big enough. And this definitely feels like it would be big enough. And I even feel like this with those pants would look even better with those freaking cowboy pants. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. I love this pattern. Okay, so it's like, you know, multi-use if you will. You can wear it as a scarf, you can wear it as a scarf top, a hair scarf, a head scarf, whatever. Fun! Okay, so that was the blueberry. Oh wait, is there another one? What is this? What are you? Did I miss something? Was that four pieces? Hold on. I'm confused. There's an extra piece. Did they just throw in an extra piece because they're that nice? Wait. Okay, when I was reaching in there to grab my next item, I saw this in there and it was black and it's a freaking halter top and it has like gemstones on it or like sequins. This reminds me of something that I would have worn when I went out to the bars when I was 21. I'm 34 now for reference. But this is so fun. What is this brand? This brand is French Kiss. Ooh, we love it. It's in a size large, but it's very stretchy and I feel like it would fit me really well. I will have to definitely play around with this and see what I would style it with. Not 100% my style currently, but it's really fun to kind of have the challenge with these types of mystery thrift box videos and see what kind of stuff that you have in your closet that you can work with to make this look really, really cute. So to be continued on that, so I actually I ended up getting four items in that bundle, which was very exciting. And now we're on to the second box, which is the strawberry box. And that's kind of like the classic go-to, fun, colorful, which I was like, yes, please. So going right off of the top here, I see something white. Oh, oh, okay. This is by the brand Kinar, Kinar. And it is a zip up cardigan, which is what I asked for. But this is like a very, to me, like Y2K style. It feels very like sporty spice. And especially with my hair right now, like I feel like this is definitely a moment. Yeah, this is good. This is totally different than anything that I would thrift for myself or pick out for myself. And that's what I love about trying stuff like this is because you can find cool new pieces. I'm thinking maybe like a tennis skirt or some cute like yoga pants. Maybe it's just like some flared leggings and some sneakers, who knows. So different than what I'm typically used to. The material is really cool too. They don't really make stuff like this anymore. I don't want to sound like an old person, but this material, like you can tell is super vintage. Obviously, so you can tell by the tag as well, but how fun. Okay, next one, I see something printed. What are you? Is this a skirt? Oh, these are pants. <laughs> these are pants. Wait, are these pants? Yes, they are. These are fruit pants. This is so exciting. So it literally has fruit all over them. It says melon, apple, papaya, melon, cherries, orange, grapes, etc. Wow. 
Now, these need to go on a vacation ASAP. What I'm loving about each of these pieces so far is that they are like true vintage. Like you would find this in your aunt's closet from the 90s or the 80s and that's fantastic. That's kind of like the whole fun. And I feel like a lot of times when I go thrifting in the thrift stores, I don't see as many fun vintage options for plus size people. So this is really exciting. These are in a size 18. If you know, you know, but like vintage sizing usually does run pretty small. So I think these are gonna fit pretty well. Like I think they're supposed to be like a looser fit and they do look high-waisted these are wild these would be cute for like poolside a beach trip if you're going like anywhere tropical maybe even just like a fun little photo shoot for me who knows those are really really fun okay and then the last one it looks like oh <gasps> It's a matching set. <gasps> it's a matching set. This is by the brand Slinky. That's exactly how I would describe this material. It's very slinky. It's a two freaking piece set. So it has a very slinky, stretchy, fun, flowy, wine, auntie type of pant. If you know, you know, I've talked about this in videos prior. My energy that I really like to encapsulate at all times is like the childless, wine aunt that shows up to the function. Maybe a little wine tipsy already, who knows? And then like stays for an hour or so and leaves. That's my persona these days. And these two together? Like I'm already picturing what can I wear underneath this. So it's kind of like this cardigan, but it has these like funky flared sleeves at the end. They're almost like bell bottom sleeves, if you will. And then it has like a little button at the top to like enclose it. Oh yeah, this is, this is auntie on vacation for sure. I feel like this would be stunning on its own but then wearing them together. I'm immediately picturing like a super platform sandal. I think these pants might be slightly cropped as well. So this is gonna be really fun. I can't wait to play around with all of these and just make fun new outfits. I feel like I scored extra because I got a bonus item in my first one. And then this one is like a two for one for my third item. So that's really exciting. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to play around with all of these and just make fun new outfits. I would personally recommend this. I would say this is the best mystery box I've tried thus far. I haven't tried a ton, but I would definitely say that the fact that I got like real, actual, genuine vintage items, the fact that I got some handmade items as well, incredible. I got two piece sets, I got tops, I got bottoms, I got everything in between. Like how much fun is this? So I would overall say that I do recommend it. I think it's really fun. I think it'd be fun to do as like a gift for somebody. I think it would be fun to do if you feel kind of stuck in a rut with your style and you want someone else to pick out something for you like this is gonna be really really fun to play around with I'm very excited I'll leave all the information down in the description box below and if you have any other mystery boxes that you want to see me try out let me know I love this this is literally like Christmas morning to me if you enjoyed this video be sure to give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already you can also turn on my post notifications if you want to be notified every time I post a new video I am sending you all of my love thank you so much for being here and I will hopefully see you in my next video